everyone. It is Thursday evening. It's the 12th of September and it's just gone nine o'clock in the evening. And I've got a free computer. Uh, now, I was riding down to Mum's two days ago and I glanced across at a driveway on the same road my mum lives on, just a few doors down actually. And this was sitting there close to some other junk and stuff, what it looked like junk to me. Um, some broken bits of wood, an old oil radiator, you know, some broken up concrete and whatnot. This was there inside a plastic tub. Um, and I thought, I wonder if they're going to throw that out. Because the side panel was all hanging off. I have got the side panel. It's over here. <laughs> um, but having autism, I find it very difficult to, you know, just go knock on the door and ask. And that sounds really simple and I know loads and loads of people personally who can do that. I don't know, maybe they feel a bit nervous when they do it, but they always seem to be able to do such things a lot easier than I ever could. You know, when I was younger, my dad was always telling me, you know, you've got a tongue in your head, go and ask. And I always thought to myself, but I don't find it as easy as that. Um, you know, for one, I have the scenario going round in my head, you know, trying to get the correct words together, you know, what should I say, how should I word it, no, that sounds ridiculous. By which time I've dithered for so long and the anxiety just gets to me and I just, I just bottle it and I don't bother asking. And the number of things I've lost out on because of that is, uh. But when I saw this one, I went up to Mum's and I had something to eat. And I just thought, right, I'm not going to think about it, I'm just going to go and do it. So I walked down, walked up to the door, knocked on the door and instantly thought, well, there's no turning back now. <laughs> And a gentleman answered, and I just said, um, I was just walking past, and I noticed a PC there, are you checking it out? And he said, yeah, take it if you want it. So I said, thank you, and promptly left with the PC. So, just a little tip for anyone who might see this video who has autism as well. Try your best not to think about, you know, communicating with someone. I find that's it. It's still a lot easier said than done, but if you can, it does help. Anyway, I do not know the status of this machine. As in, I don't know if it works, I don't know if I've picked up something, you know, where every component on it is going to be blown up and doesn't work. Um, but it is complete. Like I said, I've got the side panel over there, there's no screws. The other side panel doesn't come off, that's all part of this top. Um, it's got this video adapter fitted. It's got a very... Um, I actually haven't figured out how they managed to do that. Because instead of putting the screws through this hole and then into the heatsink, they've managed to go with the back holes on the fan. So I'm not quite sure, I'm pretty certain that's an aftermarket fan from the look of that that they've um, put on there. It's obviously, it'll work, it'll probably rattle like hell because it isn't secured properly, but uh, it's got two gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to assume, because they are one gigabyte sticks, that they are DDR2. They might not be, but uh, you can get one gigabyte DDR sticks. I actually have a couple kicking about. But they're the only two I've actually seen in all the years I've been tinkering with PCs like this. Um, it does have hard drive and it has a DV drive thingy. And obviously has a processor and a 550 watt power supply which actually looks like one. That has uh, been replaced. It looks like an aftermarket one. A cheap one looking at this as well. It doesn't look like anything special. But the computer itself is a mesh. Um, and it's got stickers on the top here, and it's got a COA4 Windows XP Media Center Edition 2006. 
and right beside that it's got designed for Windows XP Windows Vista capable which is the other reason if that is the original motherboard um, that's the other reason I'm going to presume that's at least DDR2 RAM because you would need that minimum for uh, Vista to run it somewhat comfortably um, but like I said do not know if anything works uh, there is four DIMM slots hiding behind there. It's an IDE um, DVD drive. Is that a DVD drive? I presume it's a DVD. Yep, DVD RW as well as a CD RW. I only got the two SAR connectors. One for the hard drive there is full of dust and cobwebs. So, I am going to start plugging things in and hope this doesn't go bang like that PC did in the other video. I'm not too worried if it does, because as my other video proved, the electrics in this flat worked exactly as they should. PC was a, was faulty. I had a leak to earth. Could have been a fault in the power supply. Actually, it was a fault in the power supply. You know, and that caused the RCD to trip out, which is exactly what it should have done. Keeping me nice and safe. So... Look at that. That is the full length of that DVI cable from the monitor. It's the shortest one I've ever seen. But it's handy for jobs like this. It's a pity I couldn't find a VGA cable like that. But this is the monitor I got from the car boot sale. Um, I believe that was in that video as well. Or it might have been... No. Yes. Oh, I can't bloody remember. Anyway, we are in. I'm on the wrong input already. Flip that over. My keyboard and mouse connected, so the last thing to do <laughs> is uh, that's a good sign. I hasn't gone bang yet. We have green LED. That's a good sign. Mm. <laughs> That's not a good sign though. That is good, that is. Right, just before I go any further, I'm going to shut this off. I hope. Because the fan power cable's unplugged <laughs> for the processor wondered what that was for and it dawned on me when the um, Antec fan didn't come on. There we go. So, let's see if this actually does anything. Like I said, that's all a good sign. I am going to go with F2. Is it going to do anything or is it just going to sit? Holy oh, shit, it actually boots on Windows XP. Wow. Hmm. You know, I could actually upgrade that into a half decent little uh, gaming rig. Holy crap, that was a lot of uh, users. Right. Don't know if any of those are password protected. Where's my mouse guns over there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's password protected. That one isn't right. <laughs> yeah. Just for their own privacy, because I don't know what's on it. There's not going to be any audio because I've not got anything plugged in or actually like there's absolutely jack shit on this. Uh, turn that back this way for me. Let me bring you in a bit closer. I'm getting further and further away, aren't I? Here we go. Right, so what's this box? Uh, 
fix it because I've had your viruses out of date. Why am I not surprised? It might not even be installed. Um, right, I can see one labelled Florida Contact, so I'm not going to look in that one. It is a shortcut though, but still. <coughs> Pardon me. Anything. Okay, we look pretty good on here, apart from that Florida contact, which I'm not going to open. Can I... Uh, it's not what I want to do, I wanted to switch user, I can't bloody remember how to... Ah! Log off. That's uh, what I want to switch user. That one's password protected, so is that one. Okay, so they're all password protected apart from that one. Let's see which I'm logged on to. Just go to control panel. Oh, I hate this bloody view. Switch to classic view. I don't know what I'm doing with classic view. Let's go to system. So. This seems to be the original version that this shipped with. It is Microsoft Windows XP Media Center Edition. Version 2002, Service Pack 3. We have got an AMD Athlon 64 processor on there. 3500 plus 2.21 gigahertz. 1.93 gigabytes of RAM. That's not bad. Other thing I wanted to do. This is actually working pretty quick as well. I like that. It's operate OS or labeled OS drive. Uh, there's 92.9 gigabytes free of a total of 156 gigs. And there's. 62, so what's this, a 200 gigabyte drive then? Split into two partitions, because this has um, got 62.2 gigs free of a total of 77.5 gigs. Yeah, it must be a 200 gig drive on this then. Hello. Those, I'm just gonna broadband speed test. Oh, see, it's just pictures, okay. Yeah, well, how about that? I actually picked up a working PC. I mean, I could leave it as it is. So I actually don't have anything like a media PC. I have no idea why it's a media PC. Don't even know if I can get into the other user accounts. I believe there is a workaround. But I can't remember how to do it off the top of my head. Yeah, this is not the um, admin account either, which is why the other accounts haven't come up. And I think in order to do it, I would have to gain access to the um, admin account. Yeah, it actually says that they're a limited account. I don't know if that's actually um, going to show up on the camera, I just realised. Won't be too far away. I actually have to say, this is working really, really speedy for Windows XP. I won't be able to do much with it. I do have Mozilla Firefox on here. I do not have my interwebs connected to it at the minute. Has it even got Ethernet? Yes, it has got Ethernet on the back there. Hmm.
Now I wouldn't actually have to do a lot to this to make it into a gaming rig. Put in a different video card. And that's about it. <laughs> I'd have a pretty neat little um, HP gaming rig. I think the 550 watt power supply is a little overkill for this though. Because it's literally running nothing in there. There's two fans, a hard drive, and that little, well, the video adapter is actually using the onboard power. It doesn't actually uh, have a power cable going to it. There is a six pin power connector there for a, for a video card. Blah, 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 when I get the words out. But, uh, I didn't see what hard drive that was. Probably not Seagate as it's lasted this long. I have to say that battery don't look too sharp in there. Look at capacitors, are they looking good? Yep. I'm not seeing any bloated ones. A lot of dust though, it's going to need a very good clean out. There's even some cobwebs in here. Alright. Let's just go to my computer again. I'm going to bring up. Will it tell me on the properties? This says OS Drive. Oh, it's a Mac store. Or Maxter. So that's what it is. No, there's no floppy disk connected. It's not really a lot to uh, say about this. It's got, you know, the usual front I.O. mic, audio out, two USB 2.0s. Fire wire on this one that's actually showing its age, isn't it? This too, I can't turn it around because my cable isn't long enough. <laughs> okay, so I've had to draw back to the short cable already. But it's only got your, you know, the bog standard stuff. It doesn't actually have a serial port on there. In fact, can I actually... See? It's missing a serial port, but it's got everything else. It's got four USB 2 ports, bog standard audio there, line in, line out, mic, parallel port, VGA and your PS2 ports for your mouse and keyboard. That's it. <laughs> so, not the most spectacular free PC in the world, but it was still free. And if anything, I suppose I've got a half decent project case there, it's in good condition. Got the side panel. The dust was also free. <laughs> what we got for expansion sockets on the front, on the front, on the motherboard? We have got not a lot. <laughs> Think. I'm not sure, but I think there's one more. You. Um, USB 2 header on the motherboard. I say I think because there's too much dust and crap on it, I can't quite see. Um, I need to see the orientation of the header. That will tell me if it's a COM port or a USB. Could actually be a COM port, you know, because I can't see one on there. Ugh. Oh, the video card does have a fan on it. That might actually be just a small little video card then. No idea who makes that. Should we have a look? Let's just grab it. Let's shut it down. That's one thing I'm to do. I know, I'm in the way. I'll be out of the way in just a second. There we go. <laughs> Shuts down pretty quick. So... Assuming this is PCIe, an early PCIe if it is. Uh, probably not a good idea to pull on a capacitor, is it? Yes, 
that is PCIe. Like I said, that'd be a very early one. Mm. Asus motherboard with an Asus little very dusty video adapter. Well, I'm presuming it's got 256 megs of RAM on it. Because that's the uh, only number I can identify now. 256M slash A. Uh, there's a sticker right there, but I can't read it. My glasses are not going to help with something that small. I need, if I can find it, my magnifying glass. Here it is. I'll do hate small print. Oh, actually, that is absolutely nothing. <laughs> After all that, I think that is just some sort of barcode. Yeah, I've got a feeling that is 256 megabytes on that. Uh, I'm not going to put this back in, because chances are I'm going to put some dust in that socket as well. So. I think we're better off just leaving this off and giving it a very good clean. Not tonight. I've got other things I want to do tonight. Ugh. I'm sweating already. Don't worry, that's just a cable tie that I stood on. Right. That will be it for this video. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. There's a fan with the sides of the power supply, there's one there, wouldn't there? Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. The choice is entirely yours. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.